welcome back in the next video I'm going to show you how you can make sure my telemetry tool works with ACC so how you do the installation for ACC so here I'm assuming you already installed uh, my telemetry tool either using the advanced way or the just a standard way and you have created a icon on your uh, desktop so let's start with this and you can start it for the first time you will realize you see that the and always when you start, it starts the uh, shared memory relay, which is needed for getting the data from the ACC shared memory into, into my telemetry tool. So now when you started the telemetry tool, you go into settings, ACC settings, and there you check if you need to change some of these parameters, you can change them, but if you're running it as a basic system, you don't need to do any changes, especially if the ACC is running on the same computer. You might change the password if you don't like the default password. Uh, there's, a, of course, a risk that someone would come in and try to listen to your data is, is very low. So you have to change anything here. If you need to change, then you just click Save and Exit. And this means that it changes uh, some of the settings in the background. So tool, the tool needs to be also started. So, so it, but it will also save the uh, uh, settings for ACC so that it can start the broadcasting data and, and, and it accepts the connections from the tool. So you have to restart it. So then we can be just starting the telemetry tool again and also at the same time I will be starting ACC. So now the tool starts in the in the uh, ACC mode which is, which is nice and then we just lost the window for a while. Uh, so while the ACC is starting you can just a little bit look around what, what's there. There's lots of things you can normally with the ACC or the other games you can just use the different different modes you look at the data different data and this is you can actually this uh, changing of the tabs you can actually do it here you can on the general settings you can set here a tab or the action which will change the different tabs and I quite often use the race logic change so when you're changing the race logic in the game, they also the tool will change the uh, the different tab, which is quite nice a way of doing it. So now we have ACC up and running here, so we can just take a, a single player. I'm just taking something else. I take the map, which is a little bit nicer. So let's take you just you've already saved the settings, so then just click start setting start session, and then the game starts. It takes a, a while while it starts, and then you can immediately see that. Uh, it will detect which track you have, so the map track will immediately change when you're already in this stage and then you know that you get the data. And you have a red thing here which is new with 1.4 or also with the ACC 1.07 uh, where you get the data for the different flags, so that means that when you have red that means that the track is closed and of course you, have, you haven't been driven, but when you start driving, green light, green light, green light, green light, uh, uh, green and then you can drive. But this is the very easy way of getting uh, data from ACC into my telemetry tool when you're running, they are running the same computer. If you need to run uh, the telemetry tool on a different laptop, for example, than the, than the ACC, uh, check out uh, the help files. Help files are here. How to run? Uh, how to run it on a, on a separate computer? There's a bit more uh, details how how it works. When, and but this is good. Just check on the help file if you need anything and. But this is the very simple way of getting the ACC to work with my Telemet tool and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or type them on the channel or then come to the race department uh, forums and ask the questions there. Thanks, bye.